Britain's top commentators speak out on controversial issues without the fear of the cancel culture sweeping the rest of the media. She cemented her name as a culture war crusader during the Tory leadership contest, and now Swala Braverman is continuing the good fight by rooting out gender ideology in classrooms. The brave Attorney General has waded in on the hot button issue today, declaring that schools have absolutely no legal obligation to comply with the gender preference of their pupils. Watch. Many schools and teachers believe incorrectly that they are under an absolute legal obligation to treat children who are gender questioning according to their preference in all ways and in all respects, from preferred pronouns to use of facilities and competing in sports. Well, just last week, our superstar panellist Ashley James said she would happily respect her young child's pronouns of choice and got a fiery response from Rod Little. Look. Times are changing whether we like it or not. And if my son ever says to me, I don't feel, I don't identify with being a he or him, would you call me they? Of course I would, because I want him to feel comfortable to be who he wants to be. What happened at the Tavistock Clinic is merely the symptom of Alex deciding that her son uh, should be called whatever pronoun he thinks he should be called. Uh, That is the stuff which causes it. Rod and Ashley, who he actually called Alex, and that clip, perhaps he didn't get a look at her pronouns, have been chomping at the bit to go head to head for weeks. Ashley has even declared actually on multiple occasions that she wished she'd chosen Mr. Little as her union jackass. So tonight, I'm letting these two lock horns. Rod Little, you first. Well, I don't think there's anything to argue about, particularly, Dan. You know, I think if you're if you're the parent of a child who says that she wishes to be a boy or he wishes to be a girl, then you handle it with sensitivity and you uh, remind them that you are the adult in that relationship uh, and that you are there for guidance and that is what your job is to do. And it isn't to indulge in what has become a kind of contagious epidemic uh, amongst schools, particularly in the southeast of England, uh, which is where it, where it has happened. I, I mean, I was impressed by Suella Braverman to a point. I think it is more to the point that kids, until they're 16, should not be indulged at all, no matter what the case, in their uh, wishes to be called something different to what they are. It's an affectation. It's the same sort of affectation which we saw in my day, except it's manifested itself in a different way. And it was treated with uh, no great indulgence back then, and it should be treated with no great indulgence now. Uh, It should be treated with kindness, and it should be treated with understanding, but we shouldn't go along with it. We should try to inculcate into those kids a sense of reality, a sense of truth, a sense of honesty, and a sense of scientific dignity. Uh, as to what they are. And usually, what we usually find when children are um, uh, claiming to be gender dysphoric uh, or say they wish to be a different sex to the one they are, is that there's usually a far more deep-seated, deep-rooted psychological problem there, which genuinely does need help. In many cases, it's simply contagion in that they've heard other friends doing it in school. But in many cases, and we know this from the studies of people who are uh, who have transitioned, that there is a, a greater propensity to schizophrenia, to psychological illness, to depression, to bipolar disorder, and various other uh, psychological disorders. So that needs to be looked at, and that needs to be treated. And that's what I hope these new clinics, which are going to be set up in the case uh, in, in lieu of the appalling the appalling Tavistock yeah. Clinic will be doing. They will be taking a more holistic approach and attempting to look at these kids and find out what the underlying cause is rather than going, going along in a fashionable manner uh, and sending them to have these dreadful drugs yeah. uh, uh, imposed upon them uh, and which later we will soon see how many writs come in. So, Ashley, uh, you're usually so- sitting there getting angry as you listen to Rod. Well, Tonight think, you get to respond. I think one thing we can agree on is that people, especially children, deserve to be treated with kindness and respect. And I think denying that trans people exist, last week you said you'd even misgender Caitlyn Jenner, an adult who has transitioned, you would still say he. I find that incredibly disrespectful. The trans community has existed for a very long time. And actually, I wouldn't wish gender dysmorphia on anyone because it's such a hostile environment. Um, if my son ever... Um, 
you know, my son or anyone I cared about or anyone's children said that they were feeling like they were living in the wrong sex or, you know, they didn't identify with the gender that they were being called. Like, calling some... Respecting someone's pronouns is not dangerous. It's just actually quite polite. And using correct pronouns has been shown to reduce the risk of um, depression in children. OK, Rod, well, why do you have a problem with it, Rod? Why, why do you have a problem with what Ashley's And proposing? can I just quickly say that <laughs> affirming and supporting <laughs> trans children doesn't <laughs> hurt other children. It's just encouraging people okay. to not bully... Rod, children. come in. Because it's perpetuating a lie. It's telling the child a lie. It's telling the child there's something that they are not. It is a lie, and you mustn't do that to children. Even if it's difficult, even if it's hard, even if it causes anguish, even if it causes anguish to you, you don't take the easy way out. You tell them the truth. You know, five, six years ago, my, my lovely daughter, who's in the other room at the moment, decided she wished, wished to be an Arctic fox. Uh, and at this time, there were there were plenty of people uh, arguing that you could claim to be anything at all that you wanted. You, you, and what was I to do at that stage and say, well, of course, darling, you can be an Arctic fox if you wish to be one. Of course you can. It's, OK, it's, Ashley, it's a, final word. I just think, um, you know, tra the trans community exists, whether you like it or not, like I said, and respecting people doesn't harm anyone else around them. But also, it's definitely not it's an not easy way out. People. I wouldn't wish for any parents to have to navigate um, their child becoming trans. And I also understand that people are very young and impressionable, and I respect all of that. But in regards to Braverman's speech, it also doesn't reflect the Equalities Act okay. of 2010. OK, well, look, I, I could watch this go on. We will do more another day.